hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am princess jacoco yo come on everybody <laughs> okay guys welcome 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 back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time my name is princess jennifer umelbaka okay um welcome back welcome everybody i told you guys i'm on a roll here okay i'm gonna be dishing 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 i've been receiving a lot of um questions and dms and uh, and messages emails everything about the whole um giving birth in brazil why i decided to give birth in brazil why anyone should give birth in brazil um yeah so a lot of people are pregnant at this time as a matter of fact this video is coming very very late and some people have already given birth i'm sorry um i tried to also help them i tried to give them information some of them i saw really late but i apologize okay better late than never right mm -hmm. so um i decided to do this for all of you nigerians and nigerian citizens so yeah if you think this information is very important keep on watching yes welcome back um, the reason for this video is so to help a lot of us um, who are Nigerian citizens and feel like, you know what, it would be good to um, give my children one of the best um, investments ever, okay? So yeah, I classify this as an investment, okay? Giving birth in Brazil is actually a really amazing um, um, in investment, okay? Sorry, guys there's um work going on around here and i need to use my natural light hence the window has to be open i don't know if this noise is going to be disturbing you but oh yeah we move so yeah first things first right i have my little notes everywhere so i don't miss anything i'm sure i'm still going to forget a lot of things but yes i'll keep updating you as time goes on okay all right so now first things first brazil is so beautiful guys it's unbelievable and I know pictures, it's just like how they say Nigerians, um, Nigeria generally is dirty and all of that, but there's still some really, really nice places. Brazil is not exactly entirely what they say online, okay? Brazil is so, so gorgeous. So I stayed in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is the capital, and um, it is sort of like a mix of london and miami it has this really nice hills jevy my my son really absolutely love it when we go down the hill he's just like oh my god this is like a roller coaster so yeah so he feels as if it's just like a roller coaster it's really really beautiful um absolutely gorgeous if you're there you're just like you're on a vacation okay i i thought many a times that i was like on a vacation but until reality hits me that yes i am burning somebody in my stomach but anyway it's so beautiful um yeah, I said in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is a capital. Uh, most um, people that give birth always stay in Sao Paulo. So that's number one. So number two is that visa is actually really easy to get in a basic way. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely um, get to it in a video or two. Um, how to apply and all of that. The consulate is in um, Lagos. They don't have any in Abuja, any other states in Nigeria. So it's just um, Lagos you have to apply. So yeah, it's really easy to, to get and they basically always give, to be honest. They basically always give. So it's not like all the American visa that you have to suffer and Canadian visa that takes ages and it's none of that. It's actually really, really easy to get, okay? Third, um, they have an amazing, amazing healthcare system and it is completely free, okay? It is so, so free for public hospitals, okay? Um, it is so so beautiful. The hospitals are amazing top-notch. I can remember when I was trying to give birth um, I was trying to travel give birth in America and Canada and a friend of mine was like hmm, Brazil They have really bad healthcare systems in third world country and all of that to be honest I don't even know why it's a third world country because the healthcare system is like I actually gave birth in uh, a private hospital 
but i had reasons why i had to do that okay but the healthcare system there is amazing 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 and to think that it's even free is something else okay i'm gonna do a video about it and all of that so you guys understand what i'm talking about okay um so really quickly fourth or whatever i've lost count at this point but yeah um free education free education is like in fact even if you're a citizen or not it is actually free to study there um so that this is like below 16 or 18 or something so for example if you're going with your your kids um or your child or something to give birth you can you know register your your child there and they go for free so the good thing about brazil they don't segregate if you're a citizen or not they give everybody the same uh, amenities the same um, healthcare the same everything basically so yeah education there is free um yeah so that is really really important to note because i know when um if i was supposed to go to america i would have you know registered jv and i'll probably pay or would it but like i know you can it's still free but i feel like america right if i have to register my son there i feel like it would sort of haunt me back if i if i do it free do you get what i mean so if i'm applying again they'll be like okay we use our facilities and stuff and you're not even a citizen i, I this is just me Sha, but i just feel like even if i was going to go there to give birth to my daughter in america i would have still paid because i don't want problem american situation but yeah um so yeah the good thing is that it doesn't it doesn't affect you coming back again or your visa process again it is completely and utterly free okay who doesn't like that yeah so next up citizenship yeah so if you give birth i know many of you already know this if you give birth um uh, your child is a automatic citizen okay he is he or she is an automatic citizen um you do the visa process um you do the um, birth certificates um, process and then you apply for the citizenship it comes out really quick anyway mine came out a bit longer because i went during covid and a lot of restrictions here and there are absolutely appalling but it's not that difficult to get your citizenship okay now you guys know about the citizenship for if you um, give birth to your children right but now you guys don't know that the parents, the grandparents, the siblings of that particular child that is being born in Brazil can actually get a permanent residence and actually later on, after like a year, getting their own citizenship. So for example, myself, my mom and my son were actually applying for permanent residence in um, Brazil. And then after a year we can actually apply for citizenship now the reason um we didn't get our own permanent residence in fact we had already finished everything it was just for us to submit we had paid everything was because we had already stayed five months at this point um the covid there was escalating and all of that my mom was just like you know she has to go back to her family okay and i was already exhausted i was tired and i couldn't continue the journey without her being there so i was just like you can always come back and do the permanent residency again because the honest truth is that while we're there right um it was the height of covid and they were giving we had to have book dates and stuff like that to actually go into the home office and actually submit but because we had stayed there for five months the next date was another like two months or a month plus <laughs> It was already too far my mom was like mm -mm, you know so we didn't actually go forward to actually submit to get a permanent residence but it's something that we can still do we're thinking of going later this year or like maybe beginning of next year to actually submit and actually get the permanent residency then after a year we can actually we're not entitled to get a, the citizenship okay um so that is a, a plus 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 okay getting a permanent residency means that you can always um, go back to Brazil without any hiccup. It's just like having a green card in America or London or whatever. You get a green card and you can actually buy houses, do everything you're supposed to do. So you're almost like a citizen. Do you get what I mean? So you don't need visa, you don't need anything. It's like an automatic buy your ticket and go. 
that type of thing my mom was supposed to apply for the grandparents permanent residency my son also even though he's an american citizen also he could have still applied uh for it so we had already paid filled the form it was just for us to submit but the dates wasn't we had stayed overstayed okay we had overstayed so yes that is an amazing 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 opportunity as a matter of fact it's even better than america let me not lie because if i had to get because let me in fact if we're being honest the major reason why most of us travel to america to give birth or travel out of nigeria to give birth is because of their citizenship it's not because you can't really get amazing healthcare systems in nigeria okay if you want to give birth like like you give give birth in america there are hospitals like that in nigeria okay the hospital there are hospitals like that in lagos and abuja that i know i don't know about any other states but i know amazing hospitals but the reason why we want to give birth abroad is because of the citizenship it's an investment amazing investment um opportunity for your children okay i can remember when i was pregnant that was when um they had this NSAS thing and just like oh my god god help me and my children that was when i knew that i had to secure this citizenship for my children okay i had to secure this for my for my baby girl because in nigeria we don't know what is going to become in the next couple of years we need that dual citizenship very very important so i was just like you know what i need to and i hustled i hustled i hustled and bustled everywhere okay so yeah so that is really important you get your permanent residency so if you feel like um you also want to be able to travel to a lot of countries these are free then consider giving birth in brazil okay these are things you don't know things they don't tell you okay shall we continue may we shall we okay <laughs> so yeah brazil has one of the strongest passports in the world it is ranking about 20 in the most powerful passports in the world world list okay passport is very entirely utterly strong okay i i double it for you people like i don't know why they call it a third world country but brazilian um passport is very very strong in fact you can't even compare to nigeria nigeria we're ranking about 100 and something towards the down down far end you can basically travel to about 169 countries in the world including um european countries london um switzerland like name it okay you can go and do your research i'll probably put a link up showing all the countries that basically you can travel to the major countries that i feel like well you know you can't really travel is america and canada right but the good thing is that they always give okay they always give um um visas and they always give like 10 years visa i mean you can't compare it to nigerian this you know, we're, we're holding our breath to see if they're going to give you or not okay also they give 10 years whooping visa okay so that is amazing you can travel to a lot of um european countries name it mexico in fact the list goes on and on imagine you're imagine you being a citizen of uh a country that ranks uh, you know 20 in the list of the most powerful passports so you can imagine the type of countries you can go to okay um so that is an amazing amazing thing to think about when you want to, if you want to decide to keep birth in brazil okay i don't need to do any convincing on that it's already you know <laughs> oh, I don't know i'm laughing oh my god guys this is so serious okay um next up i don't know if i told you guys about um fact that the people are so welcoming they're so amazing they're so helpful they're so loving i've met a i met loads and loads of amazing people in brazil everybody was so welcoming um we stayed in actually three different apartments there and they were oh, okay well apart from one apartment that the people the guy was crazy but i think it's just his personal his personality per se but generally they're so amazing um they're welcoming you know the fact that they really speak portuguese but portuguese is their official language there so you know they are very patient with if you want to use your, your google translator and all of that so they're actually really amazing so yes consider actual consider giving birth in brazil if you want to give your children the best okay investments 
Mm -hmm. So the next video I'll probably do on this is going to basically be about um, things you should know before applying because it's important. Don't just run and go and apply. You need to know some details, okay? It's not just white and black so you need to know some details before you actually apply i also do one about the application process and i'll probably do i will just be as i think of it yeah but if you have any specifications of what you think i should do on other videos and living in brazil and stuff like that i would definitely do that and i would also um keep posting my experiences giving birth in brazil and yeah i think i have like my tours of the apartments we stayed in in brazil and all of that absolutely love brazil it's one of my homes now okay well how y'all doing make sure you leave me a comment tell me if you really like this video encourage me okay if not i'll just do shakara for you people are not post more videos okay help me in the comment section tell me if i'm being good Tell me if you want more information on different things and yeah, tell me if this information really helped you. Tell me if you actually use this information to decide if you were actually going to keep birth or not, okay? Because it's very important. A lot of people don't know this. We are Nigerians. We need to help each other, okay? We can't just only hold on to being a Nigerian citizen. We need to do better for our kids, our children, ourselves. Yeah, don't forget to like subscribe ring the notification bell right yes click the notification bell to get notifications on new beautiful interesting content like this okay but yeah basically signing out bye Mwah.